Team's Mike Benner spoke with that driver. He's live outside TriMet headquarters. Mike. Laura, you have to keep in mind that folks here at TriMet tell the bus drivers and the MAX operators to always use their best judgment and never put themselves in danger. Well, that didn't quite work for bus driver Larry Porter. His instincts told him he needed to jump in when he saw a man beating up a woman. What did you do? You saved the girl from getting her butt whooped? Larry Porter is known as a good neighbor. But tonight, he's the talk of the neighborhood after saving a woman from a brutal attack. Oh. It's no surprise to me at all. He's a big guy, you know. Well, and he has southern values. That's key. And he's a good Christian man. Around 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, near 96th and Division, Larry was behind the wheel of his 24 bus when something caught his eye. It was a man assaulting a woman. I mean, punching her and slapping her in the head and hitting her in the face. Larry says nobody was stopping to help, so he pulled the bus over and yelled out the door. The cops are coming. Whatever went on in his head made him start hitting her even faster. <laughs> For a man who has six kids and a half dozen sisters of his own, doing nothing wouldn't do. So Larry jumped out of the bus and headed for the couple. I had to tackle the guy off the girl and secure him with my body weight to make him stop hitting on this lady. By this point, other witnesses had arrived to help. The woman was already bruised and bloodied, and allegedly it was all over a cell phone. She didn't have no chance of defending herself. And the way I was brought up is that you see somebody who needs help, no matter what color, what race, no, what gender, you help them. When he walked in the door, we sang, His name is Larry, and he is a hero. That's how Larry's kids greeted him when he got home after work. But if you ask Larry, he's no hero. In fact, he's far from it. I'm just a normal guy who did what should have been done. And back out here live, police did arrive on scene, but they did not arrest the man. Larry says that is because the woman left before police got there. But he is still glad he stepped in. Back to you. Quite a story, Mike. Thank you.